on May 2nd, get ready to escape. ISIS escaped from Transylvania. The goddess next door and John Haynes must escape a horde of vampires on the hunt in this horror-filled ISIS series adventure. Get ISIS Escape from Transylvania in paperback and e on May 2nd. I was watching an Ethan Van Skyver video and he was talking about how Kathleen Kennedy single-handedly destroyed the Star Wars brand. And as he discussed many of the business decisions that Kathleen Kennedy made as related to the new Star Wars trilogy, I began to see a clear pattern as related to her behavior and as related to female nature as related to management positions. Now, I've worked with female managers in the past and there was a clear pattern to their behavior in most cases. And whenever they were put in charge of things, they often took only one element of the four functions of management and they only understood one function of the four functions of management. Now, when I was in college, I studied business administration and I learned about the four functions of management. The four functions of management are these, planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. And when it comes down to women primarily, they are very poor planners, they are very, very poor organizers, and they just don't know how to lead, but they love control. And when I take a look at Kathleen Kennedy as related to the Star Wars brand, when she was put in charge, it was all about her having control over the Star Wars brand and not setting a course to set a direction for the Star Wars brand in the 21st century. Because when I take a look at her management style, it was all about her maintaining control over the Star Wars brand and shaping the Star Wars brand to fit her feminist vision and not trying to create a Star Wars franchise that was appealing to audiences all around the world. Because when it comes down to many female managers, especially many feminist managers, they want to be the one in control over everything, and they want to be able to dictate to everyone how everything goes. And they're very loud, and they're very abrasive, and they come across as bullies, because this is the way many females believe that you manage a situation. They believe that they have to come out here and they have to yell at people, they have to bully people, they have to threaten people, and they have to harass people in order to get things done. Because when it comes down to many of these managers like this, they don't understand the subtleties and the nuances of diplomacy, tact, and they have really poor social skills. Because when it comes down to some of these feminist managers, they don't really understand how communication works because oftentimes many women are poor communicators in management situations. They just do not know how to articulate things in a very tactful way, especially when they are interacting with men. When they interact with large groups of men, they believe they have to yell and threaten and argue with men instead of trying to diplomatically work with men towards solving the problem. This all relates to leadership because when it comes down to women like your Kathleen Kennedy, they often just don't know how to lead. Because when it comes down to leadership, leadership is all about you understanding how to set a course for a project and you also have to get everybody behind what you're going to do by having that big picture up there. And this is one of the big problems I saw with Kathleen Kennedy is that she had no real vision for Star Wars outside of creating a trilogy with a female heroine. And that was all she had for that trilogy was she had this idea for this Star Wars trilogy featuring a female heroine. However, she didn't have a plan on how to create a story where this heroine goes on a journey where she has a character transformation arc in the same way Luke Skywalker had a character transformation arc. And that all relates to how females are emotional and they want something based on their feelings and they don't set a logical course for how they're going to accomplish something because men are logical thinkers and when you're a logical thinker, usually you can sit there and lay out a course for what this character is going to do, what obstacles they're going to face, and why the audience should care. That's primarily what the leader of a brand does. They set a vision for 
what they want to set out for the for the audience to see in the story and what the audience should get out of the story as part of their grand vision for the story. But when I take a look at Kathleen Kennedy, it looks like she was running the Star Wars brand based on her emotions and her feelings and what she thought the audience should want to see and not thinking about what the audience would want in a Star Wars franchise. She didn't, and because she did not plan the last trilogy, she planned it based on feelings, not based on what was featured in previous stories or using previous story points. It was just all about how she felt that this Star Wars trilogy was patriarchal and how they needed to have this strong heroine in this story being the lead character. And because it was all about her and her single-minded idea of this Rey character being at the forefront and women being at the forefront, this is why this trilogy was of such poor quality because she just did not lay out a plan for crafting this Star Wars trilogy. She didn't really organize very well because when we take a look at how she organized this trilogy, it was really rushed and slapped together because this is another trait of female bosses. I know this for a fact because I work with several and they oftentimes do everything at the last minute. They throw things together and then they try to get it out there and then by sometimes happenstance or luck they get success from it but in most cases they really don't lay out a plan for what they want to do and they don't really organize people very well and they don't lead people very well because they oftentimes use bullying, harassment, and threats to get things done, but they don't trust people to do what they need to do. And the other element as related to many of these female bosses relates to control. And oftentimes when you take a look at the way they try to control people, it often leads to a very stifling environment. When I listen to Ethan Van Skyver talk about how so many directors and so many people who worked at, on this Star Wars franchise were fired over the last couple of years. Yeah, I started to see how controlling this Kathleen Kennedy was because when it comes down to a lot of female bosses, they oftentimes want to control people and they often micromanage people to the point where they feel stifled and frustrated. And when you are in a creative business like the movie business, it can be very frustrating to work in that kind of environment because when you're working with artists, when you're working with writers, these are people who need space to go out and create. They need to have space to be able to execute their ideas and execute their concepts and they need room to breathe in order to do their work. And it can be very frustrating for an artist, a writer, a filmmaker or a director to work with a boss who just micromanages them because they just don't have that creative freedom to express themselves. And in many cases, when it comes down to executives like your Kathleen Kennedy, they have to just sign a check and let that guy create because oftentimes you have to defer to that creative person if you hope to have a quality product. Because when it comes down to many of these creative people, like artists, writers, and directors, they have years of experience and they know a little better than you do. And sometimes you have to defer to their area of expertise if you hope to have something of quality come out because they know better about things like figure placement, they know better about proportions, they know better about scale, they know better about setting up a shot, they know better about panning a shot, they know better about dialogue, and sometimes you have to trust your people in order to get things done. And when I take a look at what was presented in episodes 7, 8, and 9, it was clear to me that Kathleen Kennedy did not trust her people. And oftentimes, because she didn't trust her people, she went out and tried to find beta males to set, execute her grand vision, the kind of guys who would submit and defer to her, like Rianne Johnson. And she often tried to manipulate these guys in order to execute her grand vision of this feminist Star Wars on screen. That's what she wanted to put in there, and she wanted to find some beta males to go out here and do this, because when it comes down to many of these feminist and female bosses, it's all, again, about control, and they often look for people they can manipulate and control, and 
as Ethan Van Skyver said in his video, that oftentimes she got these inexperienced directors and these inexperienced people, and that was all about maintaining power and control over her grand vision of Star Wars, not about creating the best quality trilogy for the next generation, because everything with, with this Star Wars trilogy was all about Kathleen Kennedy, and it was not about the audience, and that's why the films were so poorly received, because we were seeing her grand ideas about Star Wars that was all about her getting personal gratification from creating her own version of Star Wars, not creating a Star Wars that was designed for the audience. It was all about her creating this so-called girl power Star Wars with this Rey and this Rose Tico and many of these other female characters, and not about staying true to the history of the Star Wars universe, the Star Wars characters, or making these characters be presented in a way that is appealing to audiences of previous generations and the next generation. No, it was all about Kathleen Kennedy's ego. And when I take a look at Kathleen Kennedy's background, as Ethan Van Skyver talked about it, I see someone who was really just a Hollywood wannabe who wanted to be creative like the guys, but she just didn't have the imagination of the guys, nor did she have the vision of the guys. And she was placed in this position by Disney executives who thought she could do the job, but it was not about doing the job for her and creating the best quality Star Wars film. It was all about her ego and her promoting this idea that she had for creating this Star Wars trilogy featuring this feminist type heroine, but the whole thing fell apart because the Ray character comes across as a Mary Sue, someone who's designed to gratify Kathleen Kennedy's wishes, not give the audience the Star Wars story that they wanted in the 21st century. Because when it comes down to science fiction and fantasy, science fiction and fantasy is all about making a commentary on the world and the tragic irony of the Star Wars Episode 7 and 8 is that the commentary is being made is that when it, whenever it comes down to feminists, they are very controlling, very manipulative, very dishonest, and when they are given power, it's not about taking responsibility to create a quality product for an audience of people all around the world. It's all about sating their ego and making them feel good. And that's why many people call this SJW Star Wars, because when it comes down to social justice warriors, like, like many of these feminists are, there it's all about them being in charge of everything and all about gratifying what they feel and not about creating a quality product that meets the needs of the customer or entertains the customer like the original Star Wars trilogy did. Now, when it came down to the original Star Wars trilogy, that was a commentary on World War II, as I see it, and it was a commentary on war overall and how war brought people together. But you never see that with the new trilogy because the new trilogy is all about people being selfish, people being narcissistic, and people being greedy. And those are major traits as related to many women's female nature because everything is all about them and getting what they want and not about trying to serve the customers that buy their product. And that's why so many people were completely turned off by the trilogy under Kathleen Kennedy's grand vision because it was all about gratifying Kathleen Kennedy's ego and not about giving customers the story of the Star Wars trilogy where we saw these characters progress in an organic fashion. And we couldn't see those characters progress in an organic fashion because, again, it was about Kathleen Kennedy's ego. It was about her manipulating beta males like Rian Johnson and many others to meet her grand vision. And it was about these guys being used as tools to present her grand vision to the screen and not about making sure that these characters stay true to themselves they stayed true to the source material and presented these characters that were loved by people for generations in a way that made them endearing to the next generation. 
And this is how your Kathleen Kennedy failed miserably and how she damaged and destroyed the Star Wars brand because she did not think about the Star Wars brand as a piece of American history, a piece of pop culture, and preserving it as a piece of pop culture. No, she thought about the Star Wars brand as her own personal fiefdom and her own personal place where she could present her fantasies and not present the fantasy as related to these characters and keeping them consistent with themselves. Because someone who understands fantasy and science fiction like I do, I understand that it's not about me. It's about making sure that these characters are protected and preserved for the next generation so that they can see what's great about them and they can see what makes their stories enduring from generation to generation. And when I take a look at Star Wars, it's a clear example of what happens when you put the wrong person in charge of a franchise or put the wrong person in charge of a brand. Because when you put the wrong person in charge of a franchise or, or a brand, they don't see what's great about it, they don't understand what's great about it, and they don't appreciate what the opportunity has been given to them, nor do they understand the responsibility they have to protect and preserve what's there. And that's another problem as related to many of these feminists and many female bosses is that they don't understand the importance of the responsibility given to them. And when I take a look at Kathleen Kennedy, she didn't understand what she was responsible for, a major piece of American pop culture, a major part in American history in the 20th century, and a beloved group of characters that needed to have their legacy protected and preserved. She didn't understand the responsibility that was there, and because she didn't understand the responsibility she was there, she completely damaged the Star Wars brand and literally as I see it, destroyed this franchise but because it was all about her and it was not about the characters. If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to try some of my SJS Direct Fantasy titles like the Isis series, the e Steam series, the Temptation of John Haynes, and the Spencerella Trilogy, you may do so by clicking the link to Amazon.com. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.